Design Salvation, Episode 12. This is Design Salvation, your lifeline to better design with Dixie and Annie. Our mission is to share our conversation with you so we can all elevate our work and lifestyle. Welcome to The Fold. Hi, everybody. This is Annie Lundquist. Hey, this is Dixie Stark. And we're Design Salvation. We're sure glad you're here with us and appreciate you listening in. Absolutely. We're going to chat about our week as usual. Yeah, that's what we normally do. That's what we do. (laughs) (laughs) That's the way we roll. It's very sophisticated. (laughs) Yeah. You know, I'm in the beginning of some projects. What are you up to? I'm in the beginning, too. So... Yeah, like this week I was heavy duty into drawing plans, architecture, working with architect. Oh, that's mm-hmm. fun. What about I you? love I love the beginning. Mm. The beginning of a project is probably maybe my most favorite. Well, don't part you think cuz it's project? the most creative in a way where I you think can it just is. I think about every possible option. I get so excited. Yeah. I do too. A lot of times it's funny when uh I get started on a project, I can't quit thinking about it like I'm oh, just yeah. cuckoo for cocoa all puffs in. and all in. Yeah, I'm like I'm dreaming about it. I, you know, I'm I'm thinking about it all hours of the day. I do search out, you know, inspiration, and I think that kind of rolls over into just this nonstop thinking exactly. about it. But um, well, you kind of are collecting so much visual imagery too, because you think I'm going to hit on the right thing. Yeah, and then. Pencil and paper is probably the most creative moments. I, I think so. Mm-hmm. And I like I like the working with the team. I definitely like working with the team like it sounds like you did this week. Mm-hmm. But I also am very much, this is when I go down, you know, way under and I'm just in the zone. I'm just in my own element, just trying to hash through what is the overall kind of feel, yep. concept, what have you. Well, you have to be able to come up with an, uh, a sort of a sentence that encompasses where, where you're headed. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And and I, yeah, it you just got to have a direction. And so hopefully that's the right direction. So do you have favorite right architects direction. that you work with? I have a couple of architects that I really like to work with, and then I have some that are like architect crushes. That's yes, how I would that's like a different to work category. With, yeah, know? we all we have those. <laughs> all, all of the above. I, I do a lot of work with Jim Romano, and I really like his mm-hmm. office. And uh, we've been successful uh, in getting really good clients and getting a really cohesive team together. That's so nice. And there's those nothing better are than rewarding. teamwork. I know. I know. Really I works. feel I feel really blessed anytime I get on one of his projects. And we have one we have one project together right now and one that I would say is is in the cauldron. It's kind of <laughs> brewing. <laughs> it's kind of brewing, you know. Mm-hmm. It's it, we know it's coming down the hopper. It's not quite there yet. He's working on his end with all the the earthwork and all the research with the permitting and and this is a, a shoreline property. So oh, obviously those are complicated. It's got complications. And uh so he's he's kind of knee deep in that right now. So I, I feel like it's in the cauldron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. I, it's interesting that initially I was sort of intimidated by the architects early on because I felt like, why would I insert my opinion when it's their vision? Right. And especially since you come in sometimes Uh, later when it's done. Oh, I know. We, sometimes we're too late to the party. Sometimes we're too late. Not by our own fault though. Right. No, we, it's best if we come in early. But there also have been times even coming in late where I can really make help them make some really great changes, Be I impactful. hate to say. We're just usually proportions. I know, scale. Scale and proportion. So I, as a young designer, too, I wouldn't hesitate to just express any thoughts you might have and just say, could you explain your thinking here? To me, it looks like maybe the living room's going to feel like an elevator shaft because we've got two stories, but it's a small space. Tell me how you see it. Absolutely. I think it's really, yeah, it's really important to get on the same page with the architect and get their explanation, their vision, Mm -hmm. because obviously the envelope and the footprint dictate what we're going to end up working with. Yes. So it's very important that we're dialed into that. But 
you know, to also contribute and say, yeah. I feel like this looks like an elevator shaft, and I'm yes. wondering if this is the right solution for yes, the living room space. I think there's space. a way to finesse those very yeah. frank discussions. And if you find the right architect who trusts you, then you can speak freely. Absolutely. And I'm working with a newer architect. Oh, he's not new. He's new to me. He's new to you. But oh, is I'm it somebody I'm very early in the process. process. And so I've kind of driven the foot. Print the the I sort of gave him the floor plans, which is nice. Oh, that is nice, super nice. So I was about to ask: Is it someone I know? Is it an, uh, an architect? That no, I've I don't think oh, you would know him. That's always fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, get somebody totally. We'll see. New. I'll report back. Okay, mm-hmm. I like it. I <laughs> like it. I agree with you that getting started is the most fun and the most invigorating. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, going back to the whole like dream thing, this is the funniest thing. So Jay and I, a couple of weeks ago, we are notorious for getting our minds wrapped around a documentary and just like bulldozing through it, (laughs) not like, you know, pausing to go to bed or anything of the sort. And so we got on this documentary a couple of weeks ago. It was about Stevie Nicks. And I never was a Stevie Nicks fan. It, like, oh my gosh, I love Stevie mm-hmm, Nicks, mm-hmm. and I knew she was heralded as as such a great songwriter and all. And this I'm kind sure of you stuff. know every word to every and song. I know, yes, because mm-hmm. everybody knows her work. You know. Yes. But I didn't appreciate it until after I got into it, and of course, a lot of the focus was on her um, her song "Dreams." You know. That's you know, thunder only happens. Oh, you when it's you see? Yeah. I'm saying, do, do, do. <laughs> Anyways, but it, it kind of sends me down this path of dreams, and I started like wondering, I'm like, hmm. And I was asking everybody for the next little bit. I don't know why I just segued into this, but like, do you dream in black and white or do you dream in color? Oh, I dream in color. I Big definitely time. dream in color. But yeah. do you know people yeah. just dream in black and white? It's a real thing. Really? I'm That's like, kind of sad. Even imagine like, isn't that. that how dogs dream or dogs see the world? Yeah, dogs they can see red well, or something. No, you know what they can see? Hmm. Of all things, they can see blue and they can see yellow. Really? Dogs. How do we know that? Well, I don't know that we okay. know that for sure. Researchers <laughs> that know that. I certainly don't know that. But they're mostly grays, blacks, whites. Mm-hmm. But I was just thinking. I mean, as much as I love me some black and white, oh yeah. I can't imagine just dreaming in black and white. In black and white, and not dreaming in color. Yeah, no, I totally do, and I can't imagine that either. I know. So, so, do you design in your dreams? I do. Yeah, I, I do absolutely too. design in my dreams. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like, wow, mm-hmm. you know. And I, I mentioned that before. I was redesigning my closet, you know, a couple of weeks ago, and my dreams, and and I think it's important to kind of take note of what you're doing. But I don't know. I just I. I I think that that when I start a new project, I'm so all in. Yeah, that your brain's working all the time, even working, when you're asleep. Yeah, twenty four seven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think we're kind of in the same place where we're at the beginning of these jobs. So well, it's kind of fun. We'll have I get to very keep pumped everybody up, up to date on do how what? that. Yeah. But what, where do you find your inspiration? Mm. Well, this past week I went to the bookstore. Good oh. old fashioned, just go yep. up to the bookstore, mm-hmm. Elliott Bay, and just open all the books Hill. that appeal to you. Yeah, you know, I just sat down in the home section, mm-hmm. and then I moved over to the our little architecture, architecture <laughs> section, and um, I plopped down with a handful of books and just Did kind you, of— Can you tell us any that really resonated or that you thought, I may have to come back and get this one? I didn't—you know what? That's the funny thing. I didn't actually buy anything this time, mm-hmm. and I didn't have anything that was just like, mm-hmm. this is Perfect it. Fit. Mm-hmm. And um, as much as I enjoyed my visit there and I was hanging out and I was seeing some cool stuff, I kind of went down a, a little bit of a side path, a rabbit hole, whatever you want to call it. I ended up over in the, <laughs> the, the kind of like storage and organization <laughs> section. <laughs> wow. Well, you you are organized. <laughs> But I, I, I did kind of venture off. And so I, I really didn't end up with a particular, you know, book that I said, I have to go back. Well, they're this. a big investment. I buy fewer and fewer. They have to really be a good addition to my library. Yeah. And ones that I go back to for In more than a few a images, like has to be in reference a lot a lot of reference points. Yeah. yeah. So I so I didn't get one and um and I actually came back. And I went through the big old file that I have. That mm. I kid you not, it's probably, oh, I would say 
10 to 12 inches thick of yeah. just all great pictures you've you know picks. that's a really good point i should go back through mine i have tons of images that i can't bear to part with every time i think i'm going to purge 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 and then you don't. i start to go through and i realize how key those images are mm-hmm. exactly you know, forming my I eye still, or, i still mm-hmm thrive off of that. Mm-hmm. And so as much as, you know, the Pinterest and all that is out there, I use that too, mm-hmm. you know, but um, that's that's kind of where I get really excited. And then the pen and the paper. Have you seen, I know everybody has seen this, I mean, the shelter magazines, well, they're disappearing, but in addition, they are disappearing, they're getting so skinnier sad. and skinnier and skinnier. There's no advertising, the paper quality is going down, so therefore the picture quality is going down. All of It's that. hard. It's really hard to see. Uh, it's sad mm-hmm. to see. But you know what? I take inspiration, too, from the fashion sector, too. I mean, yeah. I'm totally, you know, I'll go through there and I'll be like, okay, well, they're a little ahead of us, color-related and uh, Palette. shape, mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. you know, shapes. Shapes, yeah. Definitely one of the things are color blocking or patterns or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So they, they do that first. So I often go there. I gave you go a there. good fashion tip today. <gasps> I did. Remember that store that has such good oh. architectural shapes and good price point? What is it? Cause? Oh, cause, I think. Cause? C-O-S. C-O-S. Okay. I just glanced at that before we came on. That's and good. I think it's really good. This dress I have on is cause. Oh, see, I yeah. love that. I love when mm-hmm. it's it's very clean and mm-hmm. architectural. I know. It's and, totally you. Yeah. You've yeah, got I totally, to shop there. I Yeah, I do. We've got a lot of good little places that are um, a little bit more tailored and kind of I guess edgy and architectural on this West Coast. I feel like the West mm-hmm. Coast kind of has that. That's true. Although that's not a West Coast shop. I think it's That's not a West Coast no. shop. It's European, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think it's Spanish or oh, Italian maybe it or is. It's I don't European. Know. It's good. But I feel like the the West Coast really can kind of rock that and also in jewelry. You know, I was going to You know what? You you should you we've got to figure out how to show people your jewelry style cuz it's awesome. Well, so, you know what? I was talking to someone the other day, and they said, okay, if you were not going to be an interior designer, what would you do? And I sat there for the longest time. I'm like, why is this so hard? I would totally be a jewelry mm, designer. I could see that. You'd be I phenomenal. I would just be going to well, town. Let's just start you off now. Well, I, you know, just a small collection. I could do a small collection. Let's do it, it. would be kind of, it would be fun. Oh, you'd you be know, great. the thing is, um, is that I, I love all of that, but I don't know anything about any construction. Like, I haven't taken any jewelry classes. I haven't taken any gymology classes or anything like that. I'm all self-taught because I you just love it so much. You have figured out how to open a beautiful store, how to construct furniture. Yeah. I think you'll be fine. You think? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, but okay. So that is a total segue. Well, we'll but, get the podcast but, off the ground and then we're yeah. going to make you do that business. <laughs> <There we> <laughs> See, this is what happens with creatives. Yeah. We're on you to the next thing. So, yeah, we're, we've so many ideas, so so many reinventions. And it's it's just one of those things where it's like you have to kind of rein us in from time to time. You're like, whoa, you need to. So speaking of creations, this is a pretty little drink you made us. Ooh. Mm-hmm. You know what? Um, okay, so I've decided that I think that the two-ingredient beverage may be— Is that your my, sweet spot? It might I be get my that. favorite. I don't like a whole lot of complicated yeah, things you know, with different alcohol. Blech. I Yeah, I can't—and I get the I get everything all— Ill proportioned, and I, I've messed it up. The only thing I've got down is the sangria, which I've mentioned. But I usually like I'll pour that into you know something else, or or you know mix it with something else. But today, I picked up just you know our typical prosecco, and then I picked up a blood orange lemonade, and it's a cute bottle that yeah. helps. It tastes better when it's yeah, cute it's bottle. one of those little. Mm. What are those that have the little the little pop top the thing? Little, they're like a little pop top, but they clip on. I don't know what they're that's like called, the old timey yeah. clip on. Did you get it at World Market or some? Because they have a lot of those types of things. No, actually, I just got this at the grocery store. Oh, like nice. it was nothing, nothing special. It is an like import it. though. It was super cute. Anyways, you just garnish that with some lime. But I'm like really into these two ingredient beverages, and so that's all that is. But it looks cute. Looks it cute. looks Cheers. adorable. Yeah, I'm sucking around on it and enjoying it. Um, we have a weird day today, though. It's kind of rainy here. 
So I'm kind of like, it's, it's a little this springy not feeling for like it's the right thing? I don't know. I went to a party the other day. Oh, okay, tell me about it. We're talking about design very much. But anyway, Mm-mm. I went to a party, and it was super last minute. Well, no, no, no. The party was planned in advance. So our neighborhood. You were super last minute. Mm-hmm. I know how this works. Mm-hmm. You were yep. super last minute. Right. So last minute. What were you doing? Running around trying to take something or something? So, yeah, I had to bring in appetizer. <laughs> This is so Annie. Oh my and gosh. So I I pour I pull into the parking lot at Poston Company, which is our, you know, yummy place go where to. you can go yes. save your yes, the go patootie to. every time. Right. And but there was this sidewalk sale next door at the jewelers. And Lulu's godmother and I have been trying to come up with a 21st birthday present for her. Oh, yeah, because it's in September. It's 50% off. <gasps> so I had five minutes to go get my appetizer pulled together, but then I diverted. You sidetracked. Yeah, I got totally sidetracked. Uh-huh. So I did an emergency phone call to the godmother. She happened to be close by. So she ran in. We picked a gift. Oh. Got a great deal. Oh. I'm all about that. And then we, because I think 21st birthdays are kind of special. We don't very do this for special. very, very, very many. We don't buy jewelry, but it right. was a great deal. Then I tear over to the Poston Company, and I bought something that really came together. Okay. Got, did you just make? Did you just make this on your own? Did you well, just kind of make helped it up? me with the good okay. ingredients? You oh, know, okay. but then I put them. But then no, you they, did. okay. Yeah, but I ran in. and I grabbed the Beecher's curds. Which is the homemade cheese that's from here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay, we've talked about the Beecher's crackers. Yeah, the Beecher's, Beecher's crackers. cheese right. crackers. Those are the official snack, okay, well, although this was we don't Beecher's have curd. any today. Okay, no. so the curds. And the then, plain ones? Yes, the okay. plain ones. Thank yeah. you. All right. And then the tart dried cherries. Oh. It's super good. I'm making this up as I'm running through the store, and then I grab <laughs> this box of crackers, <laughs> and then I get home, I throw it together, make it pretty, and then I go out to the garden and get some mint, chop it up, rough chop, throw that on top. So it was really pretty color, right? Because it had the cherries, the mint, and then the cheese, and then these beautiful artisan crackers that were citrus ginger. Oh, yeah. And that whole combo. Oh, my gosh. So you just threw that together and you did it to your party. You just kind of a rock star. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so happy. Okay, so it's really just like, what, three or four? Three or four ingredients is that one, right? two, three. Well, yeah, just well, we'll the mint, the cherry, the, the cheese, and then the fabulous cracker. <sighs> I think when you I'll have good ingredients, that's the key yes. to anything it in is. design. Speaking of two ingredients for a drink, I'm just three saying. ingredients for an appetizer. Well, when you have really good ingredients, mm-hmm. that is the key. It's like it, not only the beverage, but in a room or just in anything, a car. Or, or, a recipe, it does not matter if you have good materials, good ingredients, good things to bring to the table, you can really make a masterpiece. That okay, is you true. did that in like nanoseconds. Nanoseconds. Oh. oh, I had the cute platter for it, so that helped. Oh, yeah. So you always yeah. got that because you're like a little that hostess with the mostest. But you were going to this place. We were going. So okay. my cute little neighbor from the south, Amy, shout out to Amy. Okay. She got this started. She was so frustrated when she moved to Seattle. People because don't. People don't. No. Mm-hmm. We're friendly, but in a very different way. Yeah, we that may be another out. topic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so she started this thing now that she knows more people in the neighborhood. She knows mm-hmm. more people than any of us who've lived here of course she forever. Does. And it's a Friday party. We do it once a month. Nice. Yeah. And anybody who can come in the neighborhood comes and we switch houses and we had it at a beautiful home. Was really so it's fun. just like a little rotating cocktail it's party. It's a rotating cocktail party. Not a dinner and, party, but a cocktail no, party. No, not a dinner party. I like that. And everybody brings something yummy, and, and the host supplies the beverages. That's so done. great. That's so great. So so what time do you do it? Like what, 5? 5.30. So 530? if you have to go somewhere. Then you can head out and, and you go want to go out to dinner or something yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can totally do that. Oh, my gosh. It's really a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I fun. Really so, okay, well, did you... Did everybody else like it? Well, so the biggest compliment came from Amy's husband, Keith, because he's he was in the food business at Cisco okay. forever and ever and ever. And he put his stamp of approval on it. Okay. Well. So that's why I'm all right. confident that's why you're enough to share about it. it. That's mm-hmm. why you had to share. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like that you're sharing. That's fantastic. <laughs> I love that so much. And the so other much. thing I did this week, 
I have another little suggestion. Girl, like, you're full of it today. I am. I think I'm just kind of in that, you know, like <laughs> my own my own project mode. Sorry. I mean, seriously. <laughs> I'm throwing a million things uh, at you. Yeah. No. Dixie and I, I found these great bags. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I they, think we should share that link. Okay, yeah. Kuyana. I don't even know how to say it. Okay. I don't okay. know how to say that. Kuyana. They have okay. these Kuyana. cool canvas bags. Oh. Right? And I'm getting them monogrammed with know, Design Salvation. Wait. I've said that for okay. a few weeks. I'm going to do it this week. Okay, you are. All right. And then we'll do it this show week. Them off. And we'll get those back. We'll be like showing those off. That's so fun. That's another seat. Now, is that a West Coast company? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. I'll uh, have to look that up. They uh, look like they could be. They they look very West Coast. They do. There's that whole vibe that's just a little bit different. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, and I actually don't fit in. Do I? You you do, but you definitely have an East Coast vibe about you for sure, and a Southern vibe. I know people don't think I'm from here. No, my gosh, no. I this is what's so crazy is that I'm from the South, mm-hmm. and I look like I'm from here. <laughs> I don't, you don't sound, sound like, like it, you're from, yeah. but I look like I'm from mm-hmm. here. You're from here, and you look like you could be from the South, and your aesthetic is definitely more Southern and you know, East Coast vibe. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I have kind of adapted. I used to have that Southern kind Did of you? Yeah. design. Well, there was well, no, yeah, I don't that's know if there's any way around on. that back there. Down well, there. and that's what I was working on. You know, yeah. I mean, that's I was in the middle of it. That's what I was working on. Those were the types of projects I had, but I've totally adapted to this Beautifully. whole kind of West West Coast thing, and that's because again, those are the projects I have, and here I go in. You know, do you have a favorite project that people could reference on your website that you just are like that one made me happy? You know, I I have a couple. Mm, that's I have so a nice. couple. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a project that was a retreat home mm-hmm. that uh, was outside of the city. And I just, I really loved the materials. Mm-hmm. Um, so is that just, like the kind of place you could say to Jay, if we could live there or have that be right. our second home? Mm-hmm. You loved it that much. I did. I oh, loved that's it. So it, was, fun. it was really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and unfortunately, those clients actually do not live in um, or have that retreat home anymore. They sold it. But I love, I really loved. I was able to furnish that job, and we did just really beautiful linen slip covers. Oh, so you got to the end I got in to a do nice the way. full meal deal. Happen. There yeah. were soapstone countertops. Oh, it yeah. had a lovely uh, seven-inch plank flooring. The ceilings were high, but they weren't weird. Yes. You know, they I didn't know exactly have any weirdness mean. going on. I had a couple of beams going through, but we whitewashed a lot mm-hmm. of those. Uh, it just was a lovely aesthetic. And then the fireplaces were both cast stone. There were a handful, and all yeah. of them were cast stone, slightly different and varied, but just lovely and elegant and simple, which obviously I like simple things. You do. But I like the contrast of the dark and the light, and we had, you know, all of that going on. So I loved that property. Um, for a more kind of contemporary look, um, there's a property that I may have finished in what, 2000. 16 or 17 that I really, really liked. And that was with the same architect I was just mentioning, um, Jim Romano. Oh, nice. And then Mm -hmm. uh, additionally to that, I I worked on a job back in almost 2007, 2008, and it was a a shingle style, definitely had more of an East Coast vibe to it on a little bitty intimate lake. And I loved the outcome of that project, and I loved the client, and it just, you know. See, I think, yeah, it's not so much about your own vibe, but it's about, did the project come together so successfully, and you had clients that you loved? Yeah, and the clients loved it it and still love it. It made aesthetic sense. It wasn't like you had to compromise too much. Right. That's yeah, I, yeah I didn't have to overcome, and it was really easy to work on, quite frankly. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're, when you're aligned with, you know, the— Aesthetic of the client, no, the I'm setting super aligned and architecture. With my current clients on this. Isn't that fun? Oh, it's such a joy. It's so much fun when mm-hmm. you're on the same page. And I will have to say, each of those houses, because I liked the style personally, yeah. they were easy for me, yes. really easy. Mm-hmm. Now, there are a lot of homes that the outcome has been really fantastic and others less so. We all right. have those. Sometimes those are a little bit more of a struggle, and 
it's, you know, for one reason or another. But these three in particular that I can remember, I could have moved in. Right, I could have so moved nice. in yeah. to, to any of those three. And I don't say that about the majority of my work. No, nor do I. Well, whether you sort of have the same vision or not as your clients, I think I think the end, re- the end point is we make compromises. We don't. This is a really hard job. This actually isn't the end point. This is another point. It's just a yeah. This is a hard hard job, everybody. I thought about this this week because I had an easy week. Yeah, and I haven't had an easy week in a really long time. (sighs) Like designers, you get out of bed in the morning, you put your feet on the ground, and you kind of gotta go to battle. You you gotta go. It's not easy. Uh -uh. Uh Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And it's not easy being a small business owner. No. And it's really not easy to do great design all the time. And you can't. You can't do great design all the time. You can do your very best, I think, and try your very best. Very interesting point. Mm -hmm. I think that's very, very true. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Very interesting point. And I think that's where having a good client is so important and having a good team because where you might fall off or you might get down the wrong path or you might stray from, you know, the overall concept or whatever the challenge may be for you, then you have this team surrounding you, good so clients and true. otherwise, that can kind of, you know, Problem lift you up, with get you. you back going. Yep. And, and we all, that all happens. I mean, you know. Yeah, you need happens. to build build those relationships. Those are key. Yeah. With your builders, Very with your important. architects, with your stonemason, all of them. We can problem solve with them and really have a good time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's so important. I don't know why, but I just, I just feel like, I just feel like that is so much a vital part of what we do. And I always want to like make sure that those relationships are fostered. Yes. And, and I do think that there are certain people that are better, just as I said, I do a certain kind of work better than I do another kind of work. I think that's the same thing for the the craftsmen and the architects. I mean, we all kind of have our niche, even though as designers and architects and landscape designers and even graphic artists and the like, we can diversify and we can go down different, you know, Well, we can inform each other, too. I think it's super important to open your mouth and speak your mind. Oh, I do. That collaborative process is fantastic and will lead to a much better result. I I absolutely believe the same thing. So what are you going to do this weekend? This weekend, I'm going to catch up on bookkeeping. Ah! Woohoo! Well, I mean, you know, yeah, I have a meeting. Yeah, small business uh-huh. challenge in itself. And I have a meeting up at my job site, way up north at Beach House. Oh, you Super do! Super pretty. So you have a beach house you're working on. How exciting is that? Yeah, it's a, it's. I'm a consultant on it. Okay, um, but I've done a lot of consulting on it. Oh, of course. But it's not all my work, but I love the clients. And the location is dreamy. Well, it's supposed to be a great. It's supposed to be a great, great weekend. So I well, think I will post a picture because it's heavenly up there. Oh, mm-hmm. That's so fun. Yeah, it's super fun. I don't. I have one beach house that I'm working on um, down at. I always get it confused. It's Cannon Beach. It's oh, in I love Oregon. it down there. Is that in Oregon? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I haven't gone down there. Oh, yet. you haven't been down yet. Okay, I haven't been down oh, yet. I've so only lovely. been working on the plans. Fine. And I've only been working off of, you know, just what the architect's given us. And it's just a little little cottage, you know, just a small little I retreat bet it'll be space. Charming. And uh everybody talks about Cannon Beach and this and that and all that kind of stuff. And I've never been. Oh, and I was embarrassed great. even when the if I hadn't have already had this client as a client, I would have been embarrassed to be like, uh no, I've never been, been there, there yet. <laughs> uh, you know. I've only lived, I've lived this here way for, for a long years. time. Yeah, and I've never been there. I haven't been out in my backyard. But um Anyways, so it looks like I'll get to, you know, go down there, and I'm looking forward to that. That so. will be very fun. And by the way, the reason I've been down there yeah, is because of horrible middle school basketball tournaments. So they're not down like there? romantic getaways. They're in Cannon Beach? Yes, isn't that weird? Uh, uh, seaside, oh, which is seaside. just up the road 20 minutes. That's what I've heard. And yeah. I get Seaside and Cannon Beach, and I'm going to a wedding at Seabrook, and mm-hmm. I'm like, I've got these uh, ocean shores. And I'm like, I'm just so <laughs> yeah. confused with all these names. But I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. It's all good. It is all good. It's and all I'll good. be excited to see those end results yes. on those Likewise. fun projects. Yeah, we'll just be share. Good. Yeah, we'll share. It's all good. All well, right. y'all. Well, have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, too. And ciao for now. Ciao for now. 
Hey, y'all. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can also find us at designsalvation.com where we'll have the past podcasts listed as well as show notes. Hope to see you there. Okay, girlfriend. I have, okay, a little, I'm ready. I have a game for you. Okay. I'm going to ask you like rapid fire questions. Oh. And they're all over the place. Okay. I haven't really thought this through. Can I pass? Yes, wait, you can pass. Can I, wait. Yes. Okay. So <sighs> rapid fire. Like designer Jeopardy, but you don't <gasps> have to phrase it in a question. Okay. Okay. So. Because we've been playing games and, and in I our have house. To do it, I, I have to do it really fast. You have to do it really fast. So okay. don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Okay. I'm no. ready. I guess. You're so good at, at games, and I we just like games, am like the worst. If if you know me, you know I'm like the worst at games. But okay, I'm going to rock this. You're going to rock fine. This. Okay. And you can pass. Or I'll <laughs> answer for you. Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. Although it'll be me answering. I can't answer for you. Like, I don't know the answer. If I pass, you could answer. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ready? Okay, ready. What's your favorite food? Tacos. Oh, yum. I know, right? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite animal? A dog. Yeah, I know, honey. Oh, shooky. Your dogs are on diets, aren't they? Yeah, they're a little fat right now. Well, I just read a story. I'm already digressing from the rapid fire. It's all right. That there was a golden retriever, Ooh. 173 pounds, <gasps> lost 100 pounds. 100. So I think you can get two pounds off these little 173 yes. pounds? Okay. What do you hate that's in your house? Mean. What do you hate in your brand new house? Like, or that's unfinished, that drives you crazy? Uh I'm still working on my closet. Oh, my God. That closet's adorable. Serious? Yeah, I'm, I'm for real. How about I'm the blank walls? Right. <gasps> Not in your closet. Oh. <laughs> I kind of like the empty space, but okay. No, I do, too. I just know that you were looking for art. No, but no, your closet's no, so cute. No, closet. Closet. Still the closet. Okay, the closet. Okay. Very important. Do you like black windows, and are they here to stay? I do like blick windows, and I do think they're here to stay. And uh, they aren't just for contemporary structures. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. Yes. Okay. What future invention— Black metal. Sorry. Black metal, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. What future invention are you most looking forward to? Future invention? Like flying flying house- cars. What kind? Flying. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Flying cars. I want to fly around yeah. the city. Yeah. This driving is for the birds. Well, well no, uh, totally. actually, I didn't realize I just did that pun. That was pretty funny. <laughs> okay. It, it's not for the birds. I want to be a bird. Yeah, okay, I want to be whatever. a bird, too. But Plus flying that cars. drone thing. I'm so excited mm. about having drone Oh, yeah. Deliveries. Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Flying a drone. What's your dream design job? Like, could be commercial, could be whatever. Dream design job. Mm-hmm. Something in Europe. Like a ski chalet, like a little pavilion, like what? No, just a home or a flat in oh, Europe. Like so you get to Paris. travel there and— I get to travel there and I get mm. to, like, take things from the culture and blah, 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 blah. Mm, yeah. That does sound good. Yeah, just just a flat in, in like, yeah, Paris. Cool. That's yeah. super cool. Oh. Actually, that's what I want. Dee keeps saying, let's get a vacation home somewhere. Not that we can afford it, but you that's know it. how you talk about those things? Yeah. And I just said, no, I just want an apartment in Paris. See, Thank there you. you go. Okay. All right. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, w- how do you deal with a grumpy subcontractor? How, which, which, do you have a go-to method? Maybe you need some caffeine or something, food or something. Oh, you think you feed him? Yeah. That's a good idea. I usually feed him. I think that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe he's hangry. Maybe he's hangry. Maybe he's just crusty. I know. All of the above. But food usually works. Food donuts are good. good. Yeah, donuts mm-hmm. are good. I agree with you. Yeah. Okay. What – I'm going to gender stereotype here. What's the biggest obstacle for most husbands? Just stereotype. Picking up their socks. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean when you work with them. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, like, what do you, you mean? On a project? Yes, on a project. I'm talking to the designer extraordinaire here. No, she's talking about <laughs> Meryl Lowe's. Oh, gosh. Oh. I mean, can you categorize them? No, but no. Don't don't you think it's budget? Like, they don't often, they don't know how much things are going to cost. 
and the yes, wife's like, have that, a, it will a, be worth it. A, a very, uh, yes, a warped sense of what things cost, yeah. especially furniture. Okay. What's your most, what's the most annoying client trait without outing anybody? Disrespectful of oh. my time. Of your time. Oh, like you're supposed to have a two-hour meeting and it's a four-hour meeting. Exactly. Or yes. they don't show up on yes. time or they don't. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Mm-hmm. Good point. Yeah. Okay. What's your best vacation ever? Ooh, ever? <gasps> yep. <gasps> ever. Ever. I've had so many good vacations. Okay. That's a good answer. They're all good. Okay. They're all good. You're I can't. Good. You're good. Okay. That's okay. okay. VRBO but or I hotel? Love to Mexico. I love the beach. So, oh. e. Okay. VRBO or hotel? Oh, hotel. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay. Always a hotel. White or red wine? Well, red in the winter and white in the summer. Okay. Yeah. And rosé. Ooh, rosé. Okay, so in all the of them. Do what? All of them. All oh, of the wine. Yeah, yeah, all, all of them, them. Okay. all the time. Oh, yeah, so of course. Jay... Champagne is just trumps all of it, though. Champagne or Prosecco? Ooh, I like Prosecco yeah. actually better than okay, Champagne. Okay. If Jay was going to bring you flowers, which I don't think he does. <laughs> he's not. He brings you great gifts. But he does. I don't think that's. What would they be? Tulips. Okay. And what color? Uh, probably. Your color. White or red. Oh. Yeah. Not, white or not red. your orangey brown. Orangey, orangey red. Yeah, 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 yeah orangey that orangey red. red. Yeah. yeah. Not like red, red. He knows I love tulips. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you sleep in? <laughs> oh my gosh! I always have pajama bottoms mm-hmm. that like are all the like way down cute. or shorts. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the summer it can be shorts or my cut off sweatsh- <laughs> my cut off sweatshirt. But I always sleep in a t shirt. A t shirt, not like a sleep shirt, not like no, a jammy t shirt. Okay, t shirt. And they they're usually fun and graphic and cool. Like my favorite one has um, the words to a radio head song. Yeah. That sounds like Dixie Stark. Yeah. Okay, bath towel or bath sheets? Bath sheet. You you don't you drown in it? I love those. Oh, I don't like them. Cuz then yeah. I wrap it on my head and my head's so heavy. Oh, yeah, no. No, I don't no. wrap a bath okay. sheet on my head, but I love to get out of the bathtub and just like <sighs> Okay. Yeah. So you would put a bath towel on your head? Uh-huh. And a bath sheet around uh-huh. you. Yes. I get that. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. So That's, then do yeah. you sleep with a duvet or with a blanket? Both. Depends the world on wants the time to know. Of the both. Year. I'm a both. I like it heavy. Yeah. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay. It depends on the time okay. of the year, too. Linen. Linen, right. Okay. <laughs> I got that. Okay. If you could tell our little listener clan, hi, guys. Hey, hey. This weekend, this weekend. I want you to do this to elevate your home, what would it be? If you just, if you were, and I guess you could do it this way. If you were thinking about, okay, this weekend, I'm going to make this house sing. I'm going to make this house Because it has to be something they can do in a weekend. It can't be like, you know, a whole new bathroom. First of all, clean your house. Yeah. I mean, right? that's the first thing. Clean like it really up, clean. organize it. You'll realize how pretty your house yeah. probably is. It's true. Second of all, light a candle, have mm-hmm. a glass of wine, and actually enjoy it. Yeah. And that observation will tell you what you need to do. Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Let's do that this weekend. Let's all do that. Yes. And we will elevate our lifestyle just a little bit. I just think it's that easy. Skosh. Just yeah. a little skosh. Just a little skosh. Sometimes exactly. just being in the setting and being in the presence of it will tell you exactly what it needs. Well, that's our Q and A. Yeah, you did really well. I did, See, I, and well, I didn't I have made to it pass on anything, did I? You didn't have to pass on anything. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you next time, though. I'm going to have harder questions. Okay. All okay. right. Well, ciao for now. Ciao for now. <laughs>